Right, today let's delve into the iPhone 13's A15 SoC going into mass production, but also some information about iOS 15 and the upgrades we can expect. Right, so beginning with the iPhone 13 report, this is not exactly groundbreaking information, but basically, Digitimes believes the A15 SoC is going into mass production a little earlier than expected. And this does make sense because right now there is a chip shortage which is affecting a lot of companies, including Apple most likely. And so Apple prioritizing the iPhone does make a lot of sense because it is their main source of revenue. This would explain why Tim in the last earnings call said the iPad and Mac would be affected by the chip shortage but he mentioned nothing about the iPhone because as we learned last year, Apple will pretty much shift all their resources towards the iPhones and get them out as soon as possible. And so much like Minchi Kuo said, I expect no delay with the iPhone 13. We should definitely see it launch in September. Now, in case you're wondering about the A15 itself, we don't know much. In fact, the only thing we know is that it's going to use the 5 nanometer plus process. And while that's going to make it slightly faster than the A14, though no one's exactly complaining about the A14's performance. So yeah, I couldn't care less about the A15. I guess the only news I care about is that there won't be any delays. So yeah, we can get our new shiny iPhones very, very soon. Anyways, let's delve into iOS 15 because today we have some pretty interesting information from an unknown source who comes out of nowhere and just drops a bunch of information on iOS 15 and the upgrades we can expect. So the first change is UI tweaks for dark mode. Now this has left me a little confused because we already have dark mode and I'm pretty fine with it. So what kind of upgrades can Apple bring to dark mode that makes it better? Really, the only thing I can think of is Apple making dark mode darker because obviously you might know there are some gray aspects to dark mode. For example, in settings, the tabs themselves are a dark gray shade instead of the black background. And so maybe Apple is going to make everything OLED black now. I have no idea, but yeah, I'm not looking forward to slightly better dark mode because the dark mode we have right now is perfectly fine. Anyways, let's move on to the next thing, and that is upgraded messages. That's all he says. So, yeah, um, there's that. You can get messages, but better. Now, I don't really use iMessage because guess what, guys? Breaking news, iMessage is not popular outside of America. Here in the UK, it's all about WhatsApp, and I don't think I've ever touched the iMessage app. So, yeah. I don't really care about these upgrades. Now for those who do, thankfully Mark Gurman did give us some information on the upgrades we can expect. And basically he says iMessage is gonna become a social media platform. And I have no idea what he means by that. Now what comes to my mind is stories because literally every social media platform has some form of stories. And WhatsApp, which is iMessage's rival, does have this feature, though do note, no one uses the feature apart from my one uncle who keeps sending me really dodgy good morning messages, but apart from that, no one uses the feature, so I don't see the appeal of that coming over to iMessage. Though again, maybe Apple wants to lock people further into the ecosystem and making iMessage an addictive social media platform is clearly going to do that. So Timothy is clearly up to something and his plan might work. The next feature on the list is food tracking. So this allows you to take notes of all the food you're eating during the day and your calorie intake. Now I won't be using this feature because I don't want Siri to call me fat, but obviously I do understand the appeal and I can see many people using this feature. Now the final tidbit thankfully does get me a little excited and that is updated notification settings and a new lock screen. So this was reported by Mark Gurman a few weeks back, which is why I think this information is pretty credible. But basically we should see notification profiles with iOS 15. So this allows you to basically customize your notification settings based on certain situations. So for example, if you're at work and you don't wanna see any notifications apart from your work email, then obviously you can set a profile that tells the iPhone that, hey, don't show me Twitter, YouTube, 
Instagram notifications just show me emails and the iPhone will pretty much do that for a set time. Or maybe it could also recognize your location. So if you leave work, the phone automatically leaves the work profile and goes back to normal. So obviously the feature will be super seamless. And by the way, this does already exist on Android and more specifically Samsung phones. And I believe Nokia phones also used to have them. So I will gladly take this feature because it seems like it will be extremely convenient. Now as for the lock screen redesign we don't know much. Now personally I'm hoping the toggles at the bottom for the camera and torch can be configured to anything you like because the camera shortcut does seem a little redundant when you can just swipe on the right to access the camera anyways. So yeah give me a shortcut to another app or another function something other than the torch and the camera. And that pretty much concludes everything this developer told us. Obviously these are pretty good features, but yes, I'm hoping for bigger upgrades like theming options, interactive widgets, and most importantly, split screen. Please, I want to do split screen on my bloody iPhone. Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. For the latest Apple news and rumors, check out the video in the icon above about details regarding the M1X Mac Mini. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.